a long time since I did a video for you, but it's because I've been really busy learning and I've learned a lot. And this little fella here, I'm still really happy about. I don't know if you can see it or not. You should be able to see things better because I got a better light. But this thing will still take me out for nine days at least with my other batteries and we'll be perfectly happy. When we go camping together, um, we'll work with the little solar panels and the little batteries. And when I get a bigger solar panel that will power this up, then we can play with that. I wanted to let you know that I've learned a lot more, there's a lot more to learning electricity than just what I told you was called Ohm's Law, which is a formula. Um, there's different sized wires. And it, it makes sense. If you go outside and look at your air conditioning unit and look at the size of wire that's powering that and ask your daddy or mommy or somebody to show you how big the wire is for a light bulb. You can't... It's important that you use the right size. I learned how to put together a bus bar. If you look in your daddy's garage, you'll see that there's a little control panel with little switches on it. It's kind of like that. Only this one wasn't for my temperature that I'm going to do, but it gave me the basic idea of why it's necessary and why it's necessary for everything to be exactly correct. And um, how to bring in the power which is coming from your solar panels, what a pure sine wave inverter is. And I'll tell you very simply, it just keeps your flow of energy steady instead of it spiking and dropping it keeps it rather steady all these components are inside this little box but on a bigger scale like I'm going to need to run an air conditioner and a heater and everything else I'm going to have to have these components in an electrical box and as I learn more about it I'll come back and tell you. I wanted to tell you that your idea for Tech City is being created. I don't know if you know that. I'm not just talking about Saudi Arabia. Um, there's some places here actually, United States, you know, I think one of them might be Las Vegas. It should be if you think about it. But uh, they're coming up with ways of doming in, just like I said, and uh, incorporating solar panels and stuff into that to pull in the energy. But I don't want you to get discouraged. I don't want you to think that someone stole your idea. I think you, just the simple fact that you had an idea that was so incredible, so young, because that was so many years ago, you've got something. And you have an idea, and I would keep thinking about it, and no idea is stupid. None of them. See if it'll work. You know, I really like the idea about the cars being able to pass the power stations and get powered up as they go by, and it just makes sense. What to do with the water. How to recycle the water. All of those things, don't give up on your dreams, don't give up on anything that you ever think is a good idea. You have a mind that works very well. And um, I know I keep telling you to be great engineers, you'll be great at anything you do. But don't give up on your dream of Tech City and watch what they're doing. You know, ask. You know, I don't know how long it's going to take them to do it. They've got the money in Saudi Arabia to do it. I don't know how long it's going to take, but watch how they do it. See how it works, because I'll tell you something, that's how I'm learning with my camper trailer of what to do and not to do, is by watching people who have done it and are living in them, or people live in boxes, for God's sakes, I mean seriously, box trucks and vans and all kinds of stuff, and um, that's how you learn, is by watching other people make mistakes. I mean, that's what they even tell you. They're glad to that this happen so they can show you what not to do. So, I just, uh, 
I don't have a whole lot more to tell you because I have a whole lot more to learn. But I think it's just something that we can have fun with when we go camping. And I am very happy with this. I also want to tell you it took me two years to research this to get the best bang for my buck and something that was of good quality. And the same is going to go for the solar panel. I know what solar panel I want. And no, it's not a low end one. But I'd rather have this one than have to buy a three or four in the meantime. Just like the refrigerator. Yeah, it's going to cost me four or five hundred dollars. That's just the way it is. It's one of the best ones, or I can get one of those ones that you see in campers and and how often are people having those sticks? How often are they having problems with them? How often does their ice not freeze? These are things I watch get tested over and over and over and over again. I don't know when I'm gonna run off of if it's just gonna be solar. I'm gonna need a backup of some kind because you know what? I did forget to tell you this. In the summertime, when it's prime conditions and the sun is right above your head or right on your panel, you have optimum conditions. But when it's cloudy or it's raining or it's snowy or it's winter time, you don't always have the same amount of sun. So it takes longer. While this would take six hours on a cloudy day, it may take a lot longer than that. So that's something you have to keep in mind too. I don't know how to get around that. Because I don't know enough. But I don't know how they get around it. Especially the people that live up in Canada. Because their sun's funny. It's at a funny angle. And in the winter time, it's not that great. But uh, that's probably all for now. I uh, will be needing those books so I can start my book reading for you. But uh, just wanted to kind of bring you up to date a little bit on that. And as I learn more, I'll come back and tell you that you have a wonderful day. And I will as well. And I will be talking to you soon. Bye.